As oil prices keep falling, OPEC today vowed to cut supply, but prices just fell some more. At an emergency meeting, OPEC announced plans to cut production by 1.2 million barrels a day, about 4%. But with traders skeptical that OPEC members will actually stick to the deal, oil closed down almost $2 a barrel to under $57. While the ups and downs of energy prices make a big difference to millions of families, what if you didn't care because your energy bills were zero? Today, one man in New Jersey unhooked from the power grid forever. And ABC's Bill Weir went to find out how he did it. The Backyard Workshop has long been a source of birdhouses and bookcases, but Mike Stritsky used his to build something that might just save the planet. This is the heart of the system. It is a homemade, pollution-free power plant, and it will run his home using only sunlight and water. How many solar panels? Around 56 panels up there. That's 10 kilowatts worth of power. These solar panels provide most of the juice, but only as long as the sun is shining. In order to store energy for rainy days and winter months, this gadget pulls hydrogen out of water and pumps it into these tanks. If they bring visions of the Hindenburg explosion, don't worry, okay. Mike is used to calming his neighbor. There were letters to the editor saying that I'm building the Manhattan Project. So this is as safe as bottled propane? This is safer than bottled propane. Much the way the hydrogen in this balloon powers a fuel cell fan. Instant electricity. The hydrogen in the tanks will power his rather comfortable home. So I have the hot tub, the swimming pool, the big screen TV. I have all the amenities. I'm living large just like lots of Americans. You're not eating tree bark in there. That's correct. <laughs> and to further prove no sacrifice in lifestyle, he shows off the horsepower in his fuel cell car, also powered with homemade hydrogen. As a working prototype, the system was not cheap. $150,000 paid for with a utility grant. But Mike is quick to point out that early computers were also big and expensive. And we have to start somewhere. This is that somewhere. Not to be tied to a utility. It's kind of the American thing to do. And, you know, I'm offering that independence, you know. You know, I feel like the forefathers. <laughs> Bill Weir, ABC News, Hopewell, New Jersey. And when we come back, one man caring for thousands of families. When soldiers go to war, his job is just beginning. And he's our Person of the Week. World News with Charles Gibson and Person of the Week. Brought to you by Avodart.